you always wanted to have an AK with a little bit more power than 7.62 by 39. Here it is, Zastava M77 fresh import in 308 Winchester. Let's see what this puppy really can do. Easy peasy. So as you can see, the Zastava M77, brand new import from Zastava USA, can be deployed in the squad designated marksman rifle roll. And the one note about that, uh, when I was shooting with that camera, it takes uh, a lot of space. So it's kind of difficult to maneuver with it. But you can see, you can really do the damage. And this rifle with the Norma 308 target ammo 175 grain, guys, will group right around one MOA. This is not the sub MOA rifle, but with that ammo from the Norma, it will shoot very, very well. I can guarantee you, you will be walking plates at the extended ranges without any any sweat but m77 as i said the new import how's that even happening right so you may remember and probably most of you do remember m76 rifles uh, made by the zastava and uh, we're going basically back to the 90s when these were coming in in the parts kits but uh, these rifles were basically in a 7.9 millimeter Mauser, 8 millimeter Mauser, and uh, they're, they're iconic. I mean, everyone knows M76. Unfortunately, they are no longer in production. But a dot, uh, not that long after when the M76 was launched by the Zastava, they actually released the M77 model, and that was in 308 uh, Winchester. And those rifles were imported uh, by Century Arms uh, to United States in a different stocks, forms, things like this, but the main idea was there, the 308 uh, Winchester. Uh, that never really took off uh, in the US. The Century wasn't putting a lot of marketing power behind it or anything, uh, and uh, at that time AKs were not as popular. Now Zastava USA decided to bring those all back and uh, you hear the first reports from people who went to the shot show they were talking about the m77 being back and now they are being launched in the uh, us this is um, like totally new uh, import and uh, those rifles are blessed i i think they are fun they shoot very very cool i got the one here as you can see with the can from oss or Huxworks. that's the updated name for the company but no issues with a uh, barrel being concentric uh, to install the suppressor it runs very well suppressed uh, serves and shoots beautifully no issues whatsoever with any kind of ammo i shot the surplus through it and as I said before, I shot the really good match, great ammo, and that Zastava takes uh, everything. It's absolutely a pleasure to shoot. Now, the Zastava M77 takes all the regular Yugo AK accessories. So as you can see here, we equipped with uh, the Recon combo on the Yugo mount. Uh, I got the Yugo adapter on it for the stock. Uh, but if you want to keep the wooden stock or put the wooden stock from the, the you know, Zastava style or Yugo style rifles, it will fit uh, the front end. This is actually Zastava USA rail, but as you can, you can hear it, there is some loose play uh, on it. So 
I wouldn't put a lot of, you know, like extras if you wanna use some uh, laser designators and something like this. This is this this brother is not going to uh, keep the zero unless you will start shimming and eliminate that play. But the rifle is loaded with the standard Zastava Futures. It's got the adjustable gas block, three settings on it. I run it suppressed all the time on setting number one. No issues whatsoever with uh, with uh, functioning and cycling. Uh, it takes any kind of ammo from those magazines. As I said too, those magazines, uh, they are made in USA, but they fit very, very well. Surplus ammo, match grade ammo, no issues. It really, it really fits well. So that was nice to see and uh, no issues with uh, the feeding or cycling whatsoever. So overall from outside, I would say that this is a really cool and nice uh, package. I set it up in the that DMR roll, uh, but you don't have to, right? Uh, you can you can do it whatever you want. It's a, basically a 20 inch barrel. I'm hoping that at some point the Zastava will release them in the shorter barrel configurations as well. Uh, 16 inches would be cool, 18 inches would be cool, we'll see what they will do, right? Uh, but this is a really, really nice package and I'm suspecting that the good accuracy could be attributed to that solid construction of that receiver and it, that whole thing really holds up and uh, it's very, very rigid. And the barrel is decent, guys. I really, the barrel is decent and the rifle shoots very, very nicely. But I will ask Ula now to take the camera off and we'll do the live view. First, and as I said, it's a standard Yugo mount, uh, Yugo rail, uh, Yugo style rail. So our recon package with the AK master mount fits perfectly. We'll remove the magazine from the rifle and push the switch. It's, it still has that locking switch like all the Zastavas. It's like a trademark, right? And we can remove the dust cover without any issues and the recoil uh, spring. And the recoil spring is solid, is beef up. It's looking nicely, nothing really major on the Rico spring. Standard, standard uh, selector switch for the Zastava. That's what they use. And uh, I don't know Ula, if you can capture this, but this is what I was telling you guys. This is basically the standard, their AKM style receiver solution for the stocks. So they're using that screw. So any uh, adapters, if you wanna change the stock, any adapters, M4 stock adapters, Hugo style for uh, stock adapter will fit and works uh, just great, right? And it's it's cool to have it. So trigger, let me pull out that bolt carrier and the bolt. So everything is dirty because I shot. I shot that rifle a lot. And uh, it was a pleasure to shoot, honestly. You can have a lot of fun in the AK form running 308. So all all those of you who are complaining and bitching about uh, not having a AK in the powerful cartridge, hey, you got the 308, okay? If you don't want to go to the <laughs> like 80 millimeter Mauser or 7.62 by 54R, boom, you got the 308. So I'll put for a second the bolt carrier down. Uh, let's watch that bolt. Locking locks are looking beautiful, guys. Nothing. Nothing on it. I'm holding so uh, Ula can get it. Yep, she's got it, but they are perfectly fine. No signs of premature wear or anything. The firing pin is free floating in that bolt. I'll be very interesting uh, to see, interested to see that rear end and look at that guys. That's absolutely perfection. And there is nothing wrong with that rear end of the bolt carrier. No deformation whatsoever. This this looks like a textbook bolt carrier. And as I said, a lot of runs. I'm sorry that this thing is dirty. But uh, hey, we are using rifles and we're shooting rifles here. 
to give you the best feedback okay this is not you know the the tabletop five minutes review as you can see look at that guys the shape of that piston head and that's a little bit unusual from what you're seeing uh, on AK uh, style rifles right so you got those multiple ribs and this is really cool and you got two holes uh, bent holes that's that goes for the gas block but also there is some slight wobble which is absolutely normal guys this is normal for the AKs and uh, this is not affecting anything so this is all looking cool let me see that trunion okay trunion is looking right lock is looking good and on the left side I don't see anything wrong I'll tilt the rifle so all I can capture this but this is all looking good inside and uh, again those locking locks are holding up uh, and uh, this is this is a good sign for the for the Zastava so they really pay attention to how they putting it and uh, it's nice to see it so I'm happy that those locking locks are looking like they are and as I said the 308 has you know has some has some power to it right so uh, the rifle is taking the beating like a champ and I'm running so suppressed so even with uh, the OSS or Huxworks uh, can you adding a little bit more pressure to it not much but a little bit all right I can use the slot on the side of the bolt carrier to move the lever and let me remove the gas tube and here's the Pirate for the Pirates Union oh, and the look inside uh, the gas tube reveals absolutely nothing uh, there's nothing going on here guys all is looking good uh, on that and let's see the barrel there you go that's the that's the look at that uh, front end and this is this is what I was talking about you will have to shim it guys uh, if you would like to put some serious you know accessories like a la laser designator or something uh, for the light uh, I guess that wouldn't matter that much but uh, something like this will affect you if you have the uh, laser designator because your, your zero will be moving right <laughs> in a short distances you know within 10 meters it wouldn't matter but like a 25 but then again your laser designator will probably become uh, hard to see all right everything here is looking good the gas block is looking good too i don't know what can you capture it yeah live tv we're going with the live tv here look into the gas tube not the gas tube but the gas block and this is all looking uh, good so very nice very nice let me quickly see let me quickly see those rivets how the rivets are looking this this is perfect this is all perfect and these are looking good too guys so the rivets are looking great too and i don't see anything you know wrong with that rifle so hey it is extremely good news we got yet another import rifle coming to united states and this one is in the user-friendly uh us user-friendly caliber a uh, 308 winchester so kudos to the stava usa for not giving up on the us market and uh, for bringing all those new rifles all right guys let me know if you have any questions as always it is a pleasure to be a guest in your homes thank you very much if you have any questions post them underneath of the video comment that helps to break the the algorithms for the youtube too right so beat the youtube <laughs> i'll be monitoring those comments for at least 24 hours and to try to answer it to all your questions thanks guys see you in the next video bye